the Camber Says Juvenile Hurdle is next. And I think she's the only juvenile hurdle again this week. Two mile one foot off, so we should get a pretty big feel for it. It's a grade one as well. And the top one is Fight for Justice, Jim Murray, Journey of the Legend, Joshua Sutherland, Pogba, Stu Gray, Tim and Torn, Thomas Rogers, Tons of Sobs, Martin Lidham, Billy Boggan, Stu Gray, Clever Cookie, Paul Rhodes, Hunter's Camera, James Shea, Inc. and Gold, Jim Murray, Keep Alive, Leon Van Rensburg, Lost in Space, Graham Clutterbuck, Piranha Strike, Paul Rhodes, Shinobi, David Robertson, Trapani, Darren Thompson, Twist of Sarah, David Robertson and Valencia for Craig Allen. So there's your field then, and away they go. And they wait towards the first. And I think it's a very short run to this funny looking hurdle. And over it they go, they all get over that one nicely. A very short run to the second, which they're all over as well. So this will be something these juveniles are not used to seeing. And I don't know why, but somehow for me, this four year old hurdle is always really. One of the most exciting parts of the season. A lot of the time you get the same horses racing against each other week in, week out, especially when there's only one. But they do get to build up some good rivalries. Last year it was particularly exciting, maybe more so for me because I had one of the good ones last year. I don't think I have this year though, but uh, it's still pretty good stuff. And it's Ink and Gold that's in the lead by about three as they get down to the third. Which they're all safely over. Twist Sarah second, fight for Justice third, and then Piranha Strike fourth. Keep Alive is after that one, and then Lost in Space and Valencia as they take number four. And Billy Boggan. With Journey of the Legend and Shinobi after that. With tons of sobs on the inside, and then two or three just a little bit out of shot. And in and out of the picture, as and when. The camera zooms in and out. So past the winning post they go, then complete circuit of the track to go. And Inca Gold clearing the lead, and yet again, I think every single race this week. Especially over the jumps, we've had one horse go four or five lengths clear. I don't know whether that's really a good thing or not, but it's uh, certainly strange. Anyway, they get over number five. And Inca Gold is clear off Twist Sarah in second. Billy Boggan has now moved right through into third. Then Keep Alive and Fight for Justice and Tim and Torn with Piranha Strike. Tons of Sobs is also making a bit of a forward move, getting a little bit closer as they get over number six. They all get to the other side of. And Shinobi and Pog by the back too. Inca Gold, the leader. Of two in the race for Jim Murray. And a few people double handed in this. Keep alive in second for Leon Van Reswell. I think he's only got the one in this. Just a quick scan of the field. It looks like he's only got one. And Inca Gold in front there. They're already down to the final seven furlongs as they take flight number seven. Could jump on the outside there by tons of sobs. And it's Inca Gold who's in the lead by a battle length. To keep alive second, twist Sarah third. Over number eight they go. Then fight for justice and piranha strike. Tons of sobs on the outside. Journey of the legend is next. Then clever cookie and trapani in the bit closer. Then Valencia. And Billy Boggins lost his place and dropped right back as they get over number nine. It's about to be passed by Shinobi. Lost in space, Tim and Torn and Pog right at the back over the tenth. They go then, just three more to take them down. That's the third last comes up really quickly. Long sweeping turn there to the final two flights, and it's Inca Gold who's still in the lead and clear by three lengths. Two keep alive in second. Piranha Strike is next. Then comes Twist Sarah and Fight for Justice, and then Trapani and Tons of Sobs after that trying to come round the outside. Is Valencia Shinobi's running on a little bit? Then comes Journey of the Legend. Difficult to see anything else getting into it now as they race down towards the final couple of flights then. And it's Inca Gold who's in the lead. Been in the lead pretty much all the way. Skips over to second last from Twist Zero in second. Piranha Strike is third. Then comes Keep Alive. Tons of subs making ground on the outside. So two fight for justice at the final flight. Over it they go. And Inca Gold is in the lead. But, and now he's attacked and taken by Keep Alive. And Keep Alive's gone on with that other Jim Murray horse. Fight for justice. He's fighting for the Murray stable. And it's Keep Alive from the Jim Murray pair. Tons of subs running on. So too is Twist Zero. And they're racing up towards the line. And it's got to be Keep Keep Alive that takes it, Keep Alive the winner, fight for just a second, then twist Sarah and all, all the way back to the Billy Boggan, who was the last one to finish, and it's another one for Leon Van Rensburg, as he takes that, the Jim Murray pair, second and third, oh no, twist Sarah got to split them, four third it would seem, I think he going back in fourth, let's take a look at the full list then it's keep alive the winner for leon van rensburg 
Fight for Justice for Jim Murray was second. Twist Sarah for Dave Robertson was third. Ink and Gold for Jim Murray was fourth. And Tons of Sobs was fifth. <laughs> 